Hey guys, it's Steve here at Hangster's Hot Rods, and what we have for you today is this beautiful 1970 Chevelle. Uh, a lot of custom work done in this one, and we're going to do a walk around on it and go over the features here. Starting at the front, uh, first thing you notice here is the paint. It is a black gray metallic. Uh, beautiful paint on this car, very smooth, very shiny, just really has that gloss to it. Um, second thing here, moving on, wheels. Uh, it does have uh, US mag wheels at all four corners. It's the uh, gray centers with the polished lip. And uh, we do have the stainless wheel well trim at all four corners as well. Uh, coming back here, uh, first thing we'll address is our first gap driver's side. Fender to door. Very even going down. And our body lines line up very nicely. Um, next thing you may notice here, it does have custom mirrors on it, which are on both sides and body color. Our bright work around the windows, very nice shape. A couple little scratches here and there, but overall, great condition. Our glass driver's side of the windshield and driver's side side glass, no chips and cracks. And as you can see, this is tinted on the side here. Coming back to our second gap, quarter panel to door driver's side. Very even going down, and our body lines line up very nicely. Next thing you're going to notice is there is no door handles on the external part of the door here on this vehicle. They have been shaved and smooth. Uh, how you open the door, all the doors is through the remote, which we'll demonstrate now. We're going to show you the driver's side part of the interior. Pops right open with a touch of the remote here. Door jams. Very nice condition. Uh, we have a lot of custom touches on this vehicle, as I had said. The uh, door panels, the seats, front and rear are all TMI. It's a full TMI interior, aftermarket interior. Beautiful bucket seats in the front there. We have a custom center console with a B&M Mega Shifter. Uh, we have the custom uh, steering wheel there with the black leather ring. Custom Dakota digital gauges. We have the custom center console with the uh, cup holders, which do illuminate. Uh, we have power windows. We have the Kenwood head unit there with the Phytech fuel injection unit right below the head unit. Beautiful interior in this car. Black uh, dash pad. The dash is in great condition. The floor is in great condition. Uh, beautiful, a lot of custom touches on the inside here, as you can see, and just is a long list to go over. Moving along, coming along to our rear of the car here, our bright work on the rear window, really good shape, slight scratching here and there, but overall great condition. Our back window, no chips and cracks, and it is tinted. Our rear trunk. Gaps straight across, even, and on the sides, parallel look really good. Coming to the back, we do have LED tail lights. The chrome on the rear bumper is really nice. We have chrome uh, dual exhaust tips coming out the back here. Um, another thing you'll notice on the trunk here, we have no trunk lock. That is also shaved. Um, to open the trunk, you do also use the remote. And that pops it right up. Inside the trunk here, we do have a few other things to go over. It is a full custom panels inside the trunk here, back and sides and floor. All custom wrap panels in here with, as you can see, two kicker 12 inch subs in an enclosed box. We also have up under the trunk another um, custom panel. Our jams here inside the trunk are in great shape. Our weather stripping is indeed intact and also in good condition, really nice under here in the trunk as well. Moving along, come along to the side here, again I'll address the paint, really nice paint on this car, very glossy, really shines. As I had said on the other side, we do have the stainless moldings at all four wheel wells. Coming up to our first gap passenger side, quarter panel to door. Very even going down. Body lines line up really nice. Our side glass here, no chips and cracks. It also, as the other side, tinted. Um, and here's our custom mirror, which I had stated earlier, and also body color. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna open the passenger side door and we'll look at the interior from that point of view. Again, remote control. Pops right open. 
You can see the door panels there, door jams in beautiful condition. Uh, the floor, you can see the seats from the passenger side, the console, the dash pad. Very nice. A lot of custom touches, as I'd said, inside this vehicle. Moving along. Coming up to our second gap passenger side. Up to the passenger side door to fender. Very even going down. Body lines line up really nice. Our passenger side of our windshield, no chips and cracks. Our hood gaps, nice and parallel going down even on both sides of the hood. Come along to the front. Couple things here. One, it does have aftermarket taillights with the halos. The lenses, bezels, all are in great condition on the front here. Our bumper chrome, really nice. Grill is in great condition. All in all, it's very nice on the front of the car here. You'll also notice that it does have hood pins on the front, which we're going to take out now. We're going to go over everything in the engine bay. Underneath the hood here, um, what we have here is a 454 Chevrolet big block. Um, we do have the aluminum intake. We have five tech fuel injection, so this car is not carbureted. It does have fuel injection in it. Of course, that's far more reliable. Um, we do have power steering and power brakes. We have air conditioning as well. We have the aluminum fin valve covers and engine air cleaner. We got electric fans. We got an aluminum radiator. We got a lot uh, going for this car, a lot of custom touches. Very nicely done. We have aluminum heads. Uh, we do have the uh, block here, the fuse for the stereo system. Um, just all in all, we've got exhaust headers. There's a lot done to this. Very nice package and it runs very well. Uh, what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to put this up in the air and we're going to go over everything on the undercarriage. Hey guys, we got our 70 Chevelle up in the air. We're going to go through the undercarriage here. Uh, we've got a lot to cover under here. Um, very customized car and starting at the front of um, where we're going to begin. We have tubular upper and lower control arms, uh, definitely not stock, these are aftermarket. We got pro forge adjustables here on your tire rod ends. Uh, we do have front and rear, rear sway bars on this vehicle. We also have drilled and slotted disc brakes at all four corners. Um, we have QA1 adjustable coilovers in the front and the Fox Hotchkiss tune in the back and we'll go over that as we get back there. Um, the uh, frame sections, This side, very nice. The frame is painted. Very nice glossy paint finish on the frame. And on this side, also very nice. We do have uh, long tube headers. We have dual exhaust, long tube headers going into your X pipe here, back into Flowmaster exhaust, uh, mufflers, and we'll go over that as we get back there further. Um, our front cross member here, nice and solid. Uh, also painted. Everything under frame wise is all painted with a glossy black. Nice and painted here, no holes or rust in that whatsoever. Um, we do have a deep sump oil pan on our 454, which our oil pan gasket, our rear main seal, our transmission pan on our TCI transmission, and our rear main seal on a transmission, all nice and dry. I don't see any leaks at any of those. Our cross member for the transmission, very nice, also painted in a gloss black, as is everything on here. Your frame, your floor is all painted in a gloss black. Our flooring under here is in really nice condition. You can see all your cross pieces here, your embossments, your indentations, your drains. Um, you got new fasteners coming through, all redone under here. And that is on both sides. Um, you do have our e-brake cables here, going back to both wheels. Moving along here, uh, as I had mentioned, we got the dual exhaust and the dual Flowmaster mufflers. Goes up over the axle and out the back on either side of the frame, parallel to your fuel tank there. Um, we do have ladder bar suspension on the back here. As you can see here, that is on both sides. Here is our rear sway bar. Everything is coated in the black. Our frame section's coming back. 
Very nice. Very nice. We do have our links here. All very nice. You got definitely new uh, bushings here, new fasteners on the links. Our differential here, we do have a 12 volt rear differential in here with aluminum uh, polished fin uh, cover here for the heat dissipation. Our seal for our differential and our input seal, nice and dry, no leaks there either. Our flooring above the differential, also in great condition. Uh, as I had mentioned, we do have the disc brakes on the rear as well, drilled and slotted, and we do have the Fox Hodgkiss tuned rear shocks on the back of uh, the vehicle as well. Our upper links also appear to have all new uh, fasteners and bushings. Our fuel tank, painted in red, nice dress up uh, item on here, matches your disc brake uh, dust covers there. Our straps for the tank, mounting points, nice there. And nice in the rear as well. Uh, very nice gloss on the uh, tank here, and the flooring above the tank looks great. Uh, here is our exhaust coming about with the chrome tips. Um, our springs also in red goes with the theme under the vehicle here. All in all, um, very nice vehicle under here. There was a lot of options under here. Like I had mentioned, the ladder bars in the back here. Um, you've got the uh, Hotchkiss tube. Fox Hotchkiss tuning shocks on the back here, the disc brakes, there's a lot on this vehicle, amazing undercarriage. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to drop it down and start the engine up to here.